Hey, everybody. Welcome back to episode 13 of Words with Walner. And we're here with the, I'd say, kind of famous now here, John Walner uh, from the Walner Law Firm here in Chicago. And uh, we're back kind of talking about business. Um, and about injury. We're and not going to talk about food like last time. Not going to talk about food <laughs> no like last time. No more foods in neighborhoods. Yeah, we're going to get down to business. Um, and, you know, really popular to- topic is workers' comp. And, um, you know, kind of starting that out, I would like to know, John, tell me what do I need to know that I, if I think I have a winnable case against my employer for workers' comp? Well, anytime you're injured in the job, it's a winnable case. It, you, it's done. But what does the employers or what does the law give to all workers? It, it is a statute in Illinois. It is if you are injured at work, you are entitled to money damages unless you're committing a crime. Okay? So if you're injured on, in, at work, the Workers' Compensation Act in the state of Illinois allows money for certain injuries so if you, it's, so they say every part of your body is worth some, some money. You crush your hand. They say, you know, it's worth X dollars based on your rate of pay. How many weeks you're going to be suffering if you are, let, let's just get down to what the people want to know, right? You crush your hand at work. You're unable to now, and, and you were working at a plant, and you have a repetitive nature of always using your right hand. You can no longer do your job. You can no longer go back to, for example, a huge factory we have here in Chicago is the Ford plant. And they, um, so they're going to give you, by law, two-thirds of your salary off of work. This is all workers. If your inability to do your job Due to your injuries, you cannot go to work, you cannot do your job, you get two-thirds of your salary while you're off of work, and all your medical bills paid. But the employer does send you to their own doctor first. You have to go to their own doctor. You have a nurse from the company, it's insurance company, monitoring your medical progress that is paid for by the, the workers' comp insurance that the company has. But you are entitled to go to your own doctor, have your own opinions delivered. You are entitled to get your own treatment from your own doctor's if you do not have a, if you are not repped by an attorney in Illinois, and you are doing whatever the company tells you to do, and the company's hoodwink into this, hey, we got you. We got your salary. We're gonna get your medical. You go to our doctors. You know what the, your doctor, the company's doctor is gonna tell you? I'm gonna tell you this to all workers. They're gonna tell you, you could go back to work. Go right ahead. Our doctor says that you could come back to work. You can only take four weeks off. We want to see you. Monday at 9, and if you don't come back, you're fired. Mm. No one has a contract. The only athletes have a contract for the Chicago Bears. We're going to pay you $5 million to play 16 games, and it's a contract, and you have an agent, and it's signed. But Chicago's an at-will, I mean, Illinois is an at-will state. You could be fired for frowning. You could be fired for your shoelaces being untied. You just can't be fired by discrimination, by age, by sex, by sexual orientation, religion, uh, or race, right? Yeah. But other than that, you can be fired for any reason whatsoever. But you are entitled to your own doctor, and your own doctor will say, you know what, you can't go back to work. And the doctor forms an opinion. It's delivered to the employer. We are not coming back to work because I, I hurt my back work. There's a ripping, burning sensation through my buttocks, into my leg. I'm limping. I can't bend over. I can't pick things up. I can't pick up my child. <clears throat> I can't pick up the grocery bag. I can't go grocery shopping. I can't go downstairs. And I'm for certain not coming back to work at Home Depot and pulling a dolly and putting packages back in the rack. Although Home Depot's doctor's telling you, come on, you're coming back to work. Get a lawyer. So that's You are probably injured at the, work. Yeah. Get a lawyer. Call Walner. Dial 3128 million. Hit me up on Walner at walnerlaw.com because you are a worker. You, you are supporting your children under the age of 18, and the, no employer is going to tell you to jump how high, right? You get a lawyer. We're going to tell you your rights, and we're going to put you with the best medical team that is looking out for you. You have diminished work capacity. Say you you were making twenty five dollars, but an hour before, but now you're making fifteen. We're going to make sure that you are compensated up to the twenty five dollars you were compensated for. 
the Workers' Compensation Act in the state of Illinois gives you rehabilitation to rehabilitate you to a job that you can do based on your skill level to put you back in the position to do that. It's all on the employer. But you have diminished work capacity. You're not able to do the job. You would have an insane loss of income for the next 20 years. Your lawyer will get you that money. And the fee in workers' comp, by the way, is 20%. Why is it so low? Why is the worker so benefit from the lawyer only taking a small fee? Because it's a statute. Ah, is that right? If you're injured at work, you get money. It's automatic. But the, the employer, the guys, the, the employer say, hey, we give you two thirds, hey, pay our medical bill, go scratch and take $5,000. No, we're going to fight for your diminished work capacity. You may hurt your hand, and the employer says, oh, your hand's worth 10000 give you 10000 but how does it affect your right arm? How does it yeah. affect your shoulder? The inability to use your hand, that's why you have to have a lawyer. We file a case for the employee that day. You come to us, well, no, it's going to the industrial commission. We're filing a claim for you now. We're getting you the right medical attention. We are starting your case, and we are looking forward to trying it. We will take no small offer in workers' comp. You are entitled to what the law allows and not what the employer's insurance is telling you. We're going to fight for you because we know what it's like to not be able to support your children in the manner that you were supported the day before a um, crate came down and crushed you on the job. But what more importantly, in this is workers' comp is like who's liable for your injuries? One of my is, is you know one of my biggest cases we ever had for twenty two million dollars when he was a, he was a janitor a janitorial service yeah the company hired a janitorial service to go work in the plant it was a the va, it was a it was a plant that had a <clears throat> a conveyor belt a mile long they were sucking the the edges off of, they were a direct Lehigh direct they were doing all your direct mail that it comes in a little postcard for we'll clean, sweep your chimneys, direct TV, Comcast, we'll do your printing for you at home. And that day they were doing stickers and the vacuum was sucking the edges off of the postcard that the consumer would get. It was going in a vacuum chute and what happens when, it, and then they would go to a bailor where they chop up all the unused paper and sell res, the, the paper to yeah. be recycled. So the, as, as, as I don't know if you remember, the, the stickers clogged the vacuum. The guy's poking these stickers down. He goes through a shoot, had his legs cut off by the bailer. But you think that, oh, my God, I'm injured on the job. Yeah. I was a janitor. I'm making $15 an hour. You're going to the workers' comp against the janitor. But when we came to Walnut Law, we said, no, we're not stopping there. Why, what, what do you mean the, the machine cut your legs off? If a human being is coming down at 180 pounds and it's not paper that weighs zero pounds, it's like feather. Why didn't the machine yeah. automatically lock up to prevent it? So he gets injured at work. Sure, we got him two-thirds of his salary while he was off of work. We got all his wages paid and all his medical paid and his diminished capacity and ability to work in the future. But what about Lehigh Direct? where we got $22 million for him. So even though you're injured at work in a plant, is there a third party in the plant that caused your injury? Could it have been the, the machine malfunction, the punching press that took your arm off? Maybe it's not only where you worked yeah. at the Jones factory and getting your compensation for you. Like the employer would say, hey, you work be for the us. Manufacturer. Let's yeah. go. Bra- we'll go in and break down that equipment. We'll look at it. We'll have an engineer say, did this machine malfunction, shouldn't have malfunctioned? <clears throat> Did the employer know about it also? So maybe in workers' comp, he's got 200000 in benefits, but we'll say that to the employer, you knew about it, you should have known about it, so we're not going to have to pay that $200,000 back. But for the person that manufactured the equipment that we're going to get $15 million for, he doesn't have to pay back with the company already paid on his behalf. So there's a lot of things that go into workers' yeah. compensation, most importantly, get your two thirds of your salary. The company's screwing for you. We'll go to court right away and demand it in 19B emergency motion to get your wages start kicking back up. Have your own doctor that looks out for you. Is that what we're going to do for you? And let's look out for other people responsible. You don't just injure your foot, which is every body part in the state of Illinois is a certain value. You don't injure your foot, but your foot affects your whole leg then Walner Law is going to fight for you to get the total compensation of your leg injury affected your whole body. This is just as simplistic in a podcast, but let you know that Walner is looking out for the work. You need an advocate, right? You have to have an advocate in workers' comp. Yeah. 
because the billion dollar companies will tell you what to do and it's in their best interest and the and the employee thinks you've been supporting my family for 20 years of course i believe you and what you're doing for me is right all right tell me what happens if very very popular if i want to pick up some extra work i can go through a temporary employment agency but i go work for a pretty large company um am i covered so oh, this is a great question. This happens all the time in Chicago. We have these temp agencies in all the neighborhoods. We're talking about poor neighborhoods. They have temp agencies, and if you've ever driven your car around, you see that there's 250 workers outside the temp agency, and the employer calls them up and says, hey, can you give me 20 guys today? We're loading uh, pallets of bird seed onto racks, and give me 20 employees. So the 20 employees, they're all employed by the temp agency that's who they're getting their check from <clears throat> home depot that day could be they're paying the the temp agency they're not paying you the employee you're getting paid by the temp agency do i have any recourse against home depot and you're because you're only getting five dollars an hour from the temp agencies you're using for that day no insurance of so 401k you're just being used by the day do you have recourse should all your money be paid for home depot the answer is yes there are certain circumstances where home depot has been using you for two months now you're a borrowed employee you're no longer an employee of the temp agency the home depot can't get away with this and the laws are protecting the workers you should know that you're not limited to your in your paycheck from the temp agency you're not limited to what they owe you but but yeah. also you you come in at Chicago, and you and Pepper Construction is hiring um, a cable company to lay cable in their building, but the cable company hires another company to work for them. So there's like general contractor to fake general contractor to fake general contractor to to yeah. a subcontractor yeah. who's getting paid cash. Do you have work compensation rights? I was paid in cash. Yeah. I never got no 1099. I got no W-2. Straight cash for the day's job. You are in Illinois able to collect money okay. from, from going on up the food chain because they used you. It's their, They directed and controlled your work. What's the key in Illinois to getting money in workers' compensation if you were being paid in cash? Who's directing and controlling? Did you have any options in that? Could you have wanted a frolic of your own? No. They told you to lay the cement this way, to put the brick on this way. You're here from 8 to 5. You're doing no other job. You have no right to do another job. So there are avenues that a lawyer could protect your rights. And Walner Law has surely got money for thousands of people that were working for cash that who didn't think there was any opportunities for them. You go to a house and paint their home. And the painting contractor cashed you out, paid you in cash, but the homeowner said, you use my ladders, you work on this part of my house, you do this. So they're telling you what to do. The homeowner also could be liable for um, your workers' comp benefits. <clears throat> the homeowner could be liable because they directed and controlled you to do where they can work in your house, what ladder to use. So there's a lot of variations on workers' comp in Illinois, who gets paid when and why. And, that, and the, you need an expert, yeah. and an expert is a lawyer that is trained and that's, that have done this their whole life. Hire the best, hire Walner to make sure you get compensated for what you think you may not be compensable for. And is it true that the laws keep changing quite a bit on workers' comp? Yeah, absolutely. Well, it, as the law changes, we change with it. And we're yeah. prepared by knowing the newest laws, the best laws, because we're required to know the laws that change and to practice and to be attuned to the what's going on in the dynamics of law. It's changing all the time through through legislature and the the law the statutes being changed and then the common law off of that is constantly being changed. So we're up to date on the law. We're up to date on the laws of yesterday. What's going on in 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 this city and all cities across America is you you drive for Uber or Lyft, for example, and you get in an accident while working for Lyft or Uber, you know, in Illinois, you're not an employee. You didn't get a 10 day, you know, you are not an employee of Uber or Lyft in Illinois, maybe in California. So what are your options? You are, the options are these. And I want to talk to you about anyone that's driving for Uber or Lyft know this. 
you have insurance in your car and you kill someone or get in an accident, your insurance company will not protect you at all if you are also using your car for Uber or Lyft unless you tell your insurance <clears> company <throat> you are going to be working for a rideshare company. Let's and say Uber change the rates. You fail yeah. to tell Allstate, State Farm, Chubb, American Family, all the substandards in Chicago – that you are using your car for Lyft or what they call a rideshare company, you are not insured. Because but they'll you, change rates, obviously, on the way if you're... If they're you not going to cover you. What if you yeah. killed somebody? You are bankrupt. Yeah. <clears throat> now you get injured. Now you are driving for Lyft. I want to tell you three things to know. There is an app. You are on the app looking for rides. You are on the app going to pick up a customer. And you are, now, you are on the app with a customer in your car. Uber is going to tell you, and it's on their website, we're going to pay you three different ways. You have a passenger in your car, and you, you get injured, uh, and you in, injure someone, you're covered for a million dollars. You are on the way to pick up someone, get in an accident, you are covered for 250000 You have no one in your car, but you're on the app. They cover you for 50000 Know it. Be aware. It's important. Yeah, I mean, and, and they're being used everywhere. Everybody uses it. Because it's, it's just a segue from workers' yeah. comp. Yeah, Know what's going on. And they, you are entitled to no money in Illinois if you're injured on the job as an Uber driver. You are not an employee of Uber. You are not an employee of Lyft. So what type of things could you do to help somebody that's either been in an accident or somebody that is a driver? I mean, what are you guys, are you covering anybody now? Or is there, what would you do And is there anything to do if um, in those type of situations? If you are an Uber driver, you're driving for Lyft, and you are injured by another party, and the other party is $25,000 of insurance, and and you are just on the app, but you believe you have Uber insurance on you. They say, here, by the way, you are insured through us. It's on their website, and they tell you when your car gets certified to be an Uber or Lyft driver, they're giving you a car through Enterprise Rental Car or some kind of rental agency, Hertz may have a deal, a fleet deal with Uber, and they're saying, you are insured. You believe you are insured. You think you're insured for a million dollars. So I, it is an absolute fraud, in my opinion, and I think the legal community is going there, to say, you get hit by a guy with 25000 insurance, you broke both your legs, you're never going to work again for the next eight months, you're never going to be able to walk the same. You believe that you are insured for a million dollars with Uber, what we call an underinsured or uninsured motorist recovery, underinsured motorist coverage was when a car hits you with um, small insurance, shouldn't you be able to go to your own policy and get for you the benefit of the bargain you had? Or are you hit by an uninsured motorist? Don't you think that Uber is going to have uninsured motorist coverage for you to look out for you as the driver on their app? Yeah. And they say no go. We're filing fraud claims right now <clears throat> against Uber for this. You have misled the consumer. You have put them in harm's way. You have lied to them by omission. You have defrauded them when you don't pay. We're, gonna, we're going for these suits. Whether it's successful or not, we are hoping to win this case on behalf of many clients that are in the same or situation situation. But I'll tell you this. Uber says they only have a million dollars in coverage. Not that maybe say that on their website, but the other day, we had a case where an Uber driver didn't believe the route on his um, map and his thing. Interesting. It, oh, my gosh. Well, it just, just so happened that we yeah. found in the deposition where a motorcycle yeah. driver were going south on Halstead. We're in the right-hand lane m- moving south in our own proper lane. Uber driver moves over from the left t- 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 to the right, crushes us. They say, here's a million dollars, right? And Because that's all the insurance we have. It's on our webpage, a million dollars. Well, Uber was directing and controlling their actions. They're on their app. They're saying, you go this way at this time, you, and we got them $2 million. Just to say every turn and every action and every way was controlled by Uber. Yeah, they don't so tell you. So Walnut Law will never that. give up for you. We're going to put yeah. your foot down in the gas. We're not going to let up. We're not going to take it off. We're going to crush it for you. That's and then great. we got $2 million on an Uber case where they said all we have is a million dollars of insurance. So the bottom line is for anybody with workers' comp and you're, you're employed is don't, I mean, go to the, the company doctor in those particular you have, cases. You have to do and, it. But the you company tells, an advocate. The company tells you yeah. what you have to follow the company's guidelines. Yes. Whether reporting to their nurse, to tell them when you can't work. You cannot, 
the lawyer will point you in the direction. You do have to cooperate with your company's rules and regulations pursuant to the handbook you're given yes. or the union's bargaining agreement, or the collective bargaining agreement that you're part of. But you got to have a lawyer. Never do it yourself. Never believe the company has their your best interest in mind. Never. The company's delivering for their shoulders, their bottom line. You are nothing to them, no matter what the culture says. Trust me. Please, God, hire a lawyer. Please hire a lawyer to fight for you. How do we get a hold of you? Walnerlaw.com, one three one two eight million. Text or call us, one three one two eight million. Email us at walner at walnerlaw.com. We're there for you. We'll always be for you. We've had your back since 1961, and we'll never let our foot off the gas. That's great. Any last words on the words with Walner that you want to talk about in regards to either Uber, Lyft riders, or workers' comp? We're there for you. Yeah. We've got the knowledge, experience, and the experts to fight for you. We're here. And you'll enjoy working with us because we care about you. You know, we have empathy, respect, and for you. You know, we're client-centric. We focus on you, your family. We have empathy for you. We understand you. We give you the dignity and respect that you deserve and your family wants from us. And, the, and you know, the best part is just a reminder is it doesn't cost anything to give you a call and to get get a uh, free consultation zero if yeah. we don't win for you we're not do we don't get paid workers yeah. comp it's only a 20 percent fee well john it's been a pleasure thank you again for all the good information and um to our audience thank you for joining again i really hope that you got some good information from this and and as always really be safe um out in uh, as you're driving or at work um we we do really care for everybody's safety thank you